It is a bond that cannot be taken away. How do you, uh, <clears throat> how do you, what am I supposed to say after that? Hmm. It's a team that was rooted in Oakland, so they said, decided to go a different direction. And I think Stu kind of started that conversation earlier and talking to Bruce Bochy. Why? How? How did we get here? Why is this happening? And when you dig even a little bit deeper to ask why, and you keep uncovering layers of layers, how did we, how did we arrive at this point that doesn't really feel like today needs to happen? And it's a beautiful day. It's a perfect day in baseball. Yeah, there is crying in baseball, always, but especially today. How else are we supposed to handle this right now? And where were the heroes for Oakland in all of this? You realize that people are gonna point fingers for decades about what happened here, and this is the end of something. All it took, all it needed was one hero to step up and save this team for this city. And nobody could do it, or nobody wanted to do it, or nobody felt like doing it, or it wasn't in their best interest. It was never the fans' fault. Never. And the fans are gonna get blamed, and attendance, and you should have shown up. I don't want any, I don't want any guilt or remorse after today. If a restaurant closes, it's not because the customers were the ones at fault. You know, bro, there's so many variables there. <clears throat> and when you do an algebraic equation, sometimes you, it's just so long that you can't figure it out. And to hear Dave talking to Bruce Bochy, one of my former teammates, and the question of why, we'll never know. Because we always know that some things will be said but the things that really matter will never be said. And so we'll never know exactly why this is happening. And so no matter where we go in this country, in this world, and we say we're from Oakland, they're gonna say you're the city that lost your football, your baseball, and your basketball teams. And it makes us look bad. And I've always prided myself on being from Oakland based on the sports franchises that were there. They were all champions. And we took pride in that. When I first signed, with the Pirates and went to Florida. They said, where are you from? I said, I'm from Oaktown. And you were proud to say and that. And I was proud yeah. to say that. Now when I say that, I feel like I'm going to get ridiculed. Well, I will say this. As angry as I am about all this, it shaped me. <laughs> Introduced me to you, Stu, Judy, Dallas. So many memories right there at the Coliseum. And look at that beautiful grass field. What a shame to think that this baseball team will play all of its home games for probably the rest of my life on artificial turf. And I will say this, Bip, it's one thing in sports. We're all accustomed to losing a game, losing a playoff series, maybe losing your favorite manager, losing your favorite player to free agency. All those things are part of sports. Like, we sign up for that. Yeah. But what you don't sign up for in being a fan of a team or being a broadcaster of a team, what you don't sign up for is losing your entire team. Yeah. And its history yeah. and its legacy and its traditions. I, <laughs> look at those kids. Jeez. It's, you know, you know Brody, I this was, is it. I was four years old when I walked up those stairs to the second deck and saw that green grass you're talking about. And I thought, my God, this is so beautiful. And at four years old, to start thinking and telling my dad, Dad, I want to play on there one day. And that same day, he took me to the field and started hitting me ground balls. And that dream really started to become true and it was all because of the Oakland A's so and I'm, I'm so blessed man well we're going to sign off here with the end of our pregame coverage Amelia Schimmel is going to take you over with these live festivities from the yard